One thing I wanted to ask actually is like, are you planning to like kind of extend to other games as well with power? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think that's in the books for yeah, 2023 this year. Um, it's, it's and that's like kind of part of it is like surveying which game to go next. And uh, like, would you be interested in like, cause you know, you you obviously like massive Pokemon fan, right? Like, mm. have you ever thought about like going into like the competitive Pokemon scene or? That's interesting. That started really hitting my like for you page on YouTube. Yeah, um, what's the like guy really Wolfie? blown up recently? I feel is it Wolfie? Yeah, Wolfie. Yeah, Wolfie. Yeah, he's Wolfie. making some great yeah. content. Yeah, like really good storytelling. He's been, he's been uh, innovating, but also when you when you playing with a Nintendo property. Nah, you yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the answer is no, but yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's yeah, always that say, looming yeah. thought of like, nah. when are they gonna decide they don't like this? Yeah, anymore? when are they yeah. gonna yeah. shut yeah. down? Yeah. I mean, I've seen all the smash like shit storm going yeah. on. There. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's oh crazy God. that they just don't want any esports. Yeah. Like, they just, they actively, where other other games like Embrace. Blizzard Activision Embrace will, it, yeah. will pay hundreds of millions of dollars to get something. Nintendo will actively be like, fuck this, fuck you. Don't play our games longer than we tell you to. I just don't think yeah. they really like understand the scene enough. And they- I, I think, think I, I feel like it's gone way too long where I, we can't use that as an excuse anymore. You don't think? Mm. I think they understand it. They just don't want it. They, right. I feel like that is not their goal as they, a company. They are that fucking granddad who's just like, I, what is esports? I don't understand this. <laughs> I only watch real sports. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not real sports. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it like, it feels like you know, especially in Japan, I don't know how big the esports scene is in Japan, uh, but I know it's like almost non-existent in terms of like league. Is it is it Valorant or is it? Valorant's pretty big in Japan. Yeah, I was Valorant, 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 yeah. Apex is also Japan. huge in Japan. Yeah, yeah, no, right, Apex right. Apex won the battle royale war in Japan. Oh yeah, it's which not is, even close. Yeah, yeah. and I, like they're getting Aaron Yeagers and they're still not winning. Yeah. Like how's that? <laughs> how's that? And then one he got posters everywhere. No, they're trying to win a war <laughs> over there. I think, I think it's like kids. Kids love Fortnite in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. like yeah. the moment they kind of get older, yeah, it's, it's, it's Apex. Yeah. Everyone plays Apex. Yeah. Yeah. But but Valorant is, is also massively taken off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. League, thank thank league. all the VTubers for that. Yeah. yeah. A lot of VTubers actually. And yeah. 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 Push Apex. Um, yeah. Right. I think it was actually the VTubers that originally, especially with Apex, blew it up in Japan because yeah. like yeah. there was like a bunch of like pretty top level Japanese VTubers who got really fucking good at Apex. Yeah. Well, they also have like, uh, I think it's like not maybe bi-weekly or monthly uh, VTuber Apex tournaments. Oh yeah, they're yeah. They're pretty big. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. So Basically VTubers uh, control the Japanese meta about yeah, pretty what, much. what games gets played, yeah. right? Mo MOBAs they do not like in Japan. No. Yeah, okay, that's Korea. Yeah, Korea yeah. loves yeah. MOBAs. Yeah, yeah. 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 Does not want MOBAs. <laughs> no. yeah. Are you playing any games outside of uh, like Fortnite and uh, yeah, what games you, know, you play personally? You know what's crazy? It's gonna sound cringe, but it's actually Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, I, I played TFT, and that's like the most cringe game of all. Oh, so. actually, you know what? I've started playing a bit. Uh, Super Auto Pets, actually, casually. That, that is kind of like TFT. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. It's like it's chess, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Auto chess. Yeah, um, auto chess games. That one's yeah, surprisingly fun to play. Uh, yeah, with friends as well. We used to play the. Dota one, the mm. Dota chess, and then I just- That was the first auto chess. Yeah, yeah that yeah, was, yeah. yeah. And then, and then they'd be like, and yoink. Yeah. And then, yeah, <laughs> it's always funny how those happen. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, it's like, I'll probably wake up and still like, get in at least a game of Fortnite. Right, like, right. I'm probably addicted to Fortnite. <laughs> right. Like, and I don't even make much content on it anymore. It's just yeah, like, I right. have some habitually ingrained in me for five years of making content on the game. Cause a lot of times in that journey of like making content when I was daily uploading and stuff, it would be, let's just play to figure out what to record. And like, yeah, what can right. I cre mm. like, let's, let's on the fly here, make something up while playing a game. Yeah. And then that just become a habit to just play a game every day. And it's like, well, I, th I, th I think play. the big thing about getting into a new competitive game is that when you put so much time into le like learning the mechanics of one game, mm. it's really hard to just jump into like, jump into another game casually and be like, I want to spend time learning this game now, mm. right? Because that's why I will never play another MOBA outside of League. Cause like, I, there was a time when I enjoyed League of Legends. Mm. I spent God knows how many hours just learning the basic fucking how, like just how to play the game and yeah. how the game works. And I do not have that time in my life anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you know. sure, sure. Yeah. Is there any, like if you could pick any games that you would want power to like, kind of like be represented in like- Yeah, yeah regardless of like regardless. logistics. Yeah, regardless, regardless of logistics. Well, I mean, we wanted to want? do we wanted to do Valorant. We were looking into that pretty heavily. Then they went franchised, right. which yeah. What, is, so, what does that mean when they get franchised? Uh, essentially it was like kind of like invite only and we weren't in it yet. So it kind of made sense like, but yeah. they didn't pick 
any Australian teams in the franchise model. There's no. Mm. Yeah. There was going to be one and then they went bankrupt. <coughs> um, <laughs> well, welcome to esports. Welcome to esports, baby. <laughs> like everybody's going bankrupt. Yeah, it's a couple. It's a couple. <laughs> well, CLG recently announced they yeah. dialing back and then Guard fired all of their employees. Yep. Yeah. And then I think V1 was talking about looking for a merger. I think I saw yeah. like and then I saw TSM dialing back or something yeah, TSM, like that. Which, like, yeah. If TSM is dialing back, that's pretty scary for the Jeez. whole industry because that's like one of the biggest brand name orgs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, so I, I'm guess I'm guessing being an Australian esports team, you guys are always seen as the underdogs. Yeah, and actually I love it because when we win, it's going to feel so fucking good. <laughs> like, and that's why you got to get behind us because when we go to a tournament, we are fundamentally not meant to win, right? Yeah, like, and yeah. that's like the whole Aussie spirit's underdog. Like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. is it. How much do you think <laughs> crappy Australian internet has played a role in their weak esports <laughs> showing? Okay, yeah, because I was going to ask. It's definitely part of it. Like, we'll still get Rocket League games and it's like guys drop down. It's like, oh yeah, internet, like, yeah, yeah. give them yeah. a bit. Like, there's like a little, like, I think we have a, a higher, I could be wrong, but I think there's like a, uh, we take more referee pauses like in any other region in RLCS because it's like, yeah, internet, like it's just a common thing, especially yeah. when people are playing out rural. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah. internet's out. Like, will he come back? Uh, coin flip, we don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, definitely, definitely a part. And I would say even YouTube as well. Like early on, I had to get my video done by 8 p.m. so that I could upload it overnight. Yeah, so that that I, I, I was well. there as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 because when I was living in Australia making content, I was also <laughs> uploading daily. Yeah. And uh, there'd be like an off peak and then there'll be an on peak. And yeah. if you didn't upload during the, uh, or if you uploaded during the on peak, then by the end of the month, your internet was just fucked. Yeah. Because like, there's always a cap to it. So you Wait, had to what? do it. Yeah. yeah. So how it what? worked. Yeah. Oh, we were brokey for sure. Yeah. yeah. Internet <laughs> so bad. So basically I mean, it, how Australian it- Australian internet is notoriously bad. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. basically how it worked was that I think it was like between like uh, 12 a.m. and- when was it? It was like for me. I think I started at 10 p.m. Yeah, it was what? like it was basically it was like 10 10 p.m. ish. There would be an off peak, no. which is basically it's basically like you're separating the data cap into two halves, no. one during the day and one during the no. night. And if you exhausted it during one of the peaks, then the other peak would be affected. Yeah, so basically your internet would just go down to dial up speed what? until it would refresh the next month. And so when I was what uploading, so when so when I was uploading daily, I had to basically upload it overnight because not only was the internet so incredibly fucking slow that it took all night to upload, yeah. Yeah. but also if I did it during the day, then I would exhaust the peak, and then my dad would come into my room pissed off as fuck, being like, <laughs> "Why is my internet at dial-up speed? Because <laughs> oh you uploaded gosh. all this shit and basically capped out and, our data limit." And you, yeah. and you lived in Sydney, so you weren't like in the middle of fucking nowhere, dude. Well, I had point three upload. Were dude. you in the city? Uh, I was just outside of the city. I was in Northern Beach. Because apparently, for like the 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 way they like refresh the internet, is for some places they started outside then in the city. Like they didn't start from the city and then go out. They went yeah. out from the suburbs into the city. I think Melbourne's like that from what I've heard. Right. Where like people in Melbourne still in the city kind of have shit in that. Um, yeah, no, I don't I don't think it was like that for us. I think it was just kind of, in Sydney, it was just like a like overnight, everyone <coughs> would just like get a refreshed. Yeah. Uh, but either way, like I had to basically like really downscale my videos to make the files as small as possible. One, because it would take a billion years to upload so that I wouldn't be able to make the daily upload schedule. But right. two, if I was uploading like a gigabyte video files every single day, dude, my internet would be out in like the first 10 days. Yeah. And then I'd have yeah. dial up for the next 20 days, oh, which yeah, is just like- When I first got an editor- Horrendous. I started uploading the raw footage. And that's when I realized, oh shit, my internet is so slow. Yeah. This is a YouTube video, you know, you'd, you'd render it and it would come out yeah. and it's 1080p and it mm. would maybe come out to like 700 megabytes, yeah. maybe a gigabyte tops, right? Yeah, right. But then when you start loading raw footage and then, you know, this raw footage is three hours long and there's two camera angles, you're like, oh, this is going to take four days. Yeah, yeah. So I couldn't upload 1080p videos while I was living in Australia because the files were too big. Yeah. So oh the God. first two and a half years, I was uploading 720p oh at most God. and I was using like a program to like, basically scale it down yeah. uh, and to sacrifice like graphical quality or like audio quality just so I could upload it without going over my cap. That's crazy. Yeah, and that was fun. Oh. And then, you know, by the time I moved out to Australia because my PC was basically on 24 hours for two and a half years straight, uh, it exploded one day <laughs> and it like actually burst into flames. And I was like, well, guess I'm moving to Japan now. <laughs> wow, well, that's the catalyst. Take, you take it for granted in Japan though, how how lucky you are to have oh, insane yeah. Yeah. internet speeds everywhere. Yeah. Cause you're, you're, you have insane speeds even through like mobile connections. Yeah. yeah. And there's no cap either. Yeah, there's no cap. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, just, I upload like a terabyte of files. I'm like, all right, I'll be done by dinner time. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's crazy. Is like, uh, is the Australian internet still bad? It's not bad now. Like, I've you, there's like a couple of good providers now, and like they've got MBN infrastructure in most places. The National Broadband Network, yeah, yeah, mm. which was yeah hairy for a while there. But it's good now. It's yeah, good. Not it's not terabytes, bad. but like you know, we do a couple gigabytes. Nice, nice, yeah. hell yeah. How, how's the ping in Australian like? competitive games because <laughs> it's 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 like a meme in the league community where everyone's trying to figure out why na like north america sucks so bad and there's like a million different like fucking excuses and one of them is just like oh it's because of the ping because oh, yeah. yeah. they like because the servers are like in the middle of america yeah the, the oh. servers are in the middle of uh, america and they're all, all like all in california la yeah. so it's like yeah the pro players can't get like good practice and so what <laughs> happens like 60 ping right 60 ms that's think, kind of a lot. Yeah, that's. I think a lot of people do play on like sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wow. think in Korea it's like three or something, right? It's, it's like probably. it's like ten or below ten in Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I get like fifteen in Tokyo. Which dude, is pretty dude. Cool. When I was in Australia, and like before yeah. the National Broadband Network came out, and I was playing like Gmod with like a bunch of my friends in America, like I had like three hundred on a good day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that was like yeah, because during my early days doing Minecraft, like twenty fourteen, like I was recording with. Americans. Like yeah. I was the only Aussie and I was like, it was the meme of like me being like flying around the screen. Yeah. <laughs> this. Like, uh, yeah, they call me like the blur because I would be blurring all the, <laughs> the spot. through everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Legit. But yeah, I mean, it was good fun waking up at bad hours. Um, it's yeah. good. It was grind days for sure. Yeah. For sure, yeah. But like how, how bad is like the ping now when it comes to like oh, cultivating yes. kind of like a competitive scene here in Australia? Yeah, so it's not bad. So all the servers based in Sydney. Um, right. Yeah, so we might, we, like we did that one thing where we flew our players down to Sydney and played some games out there to have zero ping. Because in Fortnite, ping is essential for taking their walls. Mm -hmm. So you'd pickaxe the wall and it would be like, who places it first next? And it, it's whoever, who's ever closest to the server. Right. Yeah. They said they you're added- like spamming it, right? Yeah, 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 you're both spamming it. And it's like, they say it's a coin flip on like a 50-50 chance, but if your ping is good enough, it doesn't do the coin flip and you mm -hmm. just get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Um, and like that's a big key mechanic for like fighting because if you if you take their wall you can edit and then get a free shot. Um, yeah, right. So that's so like if big you, part. If you build the wall in Fortnite, yeah. you can actually like this because it's a three by three. You can actually like press a button that allows you to remove parts of the wall. Yeah. So oh. you can imagine it, right? If you have a if you box someone in and you're the one who built the wall, you can quickly you know exactly when you're going to remove a section of this wall, and then you can just shoot through it. Oh, yeah. okay. So like I yeah. can just remove a portion to shoot them and then put it back. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. So that's they can't do anything. Oh. Huh. Yeah, they just sit there and take it. Yeah. Um so that's why yeah. So I guess ping is a big factor. Yeah. I did I didn't know that was a big deal. I yeah. Think. So that's like uh like in America right now, they even just did it with um Fortnite where they had the East servers and the West servers and they just randomly like, hey, it's all going central. So like all oh. these guys had set up boot camps on the East Coast, because that was the Fuck. biggest dominant competitive yeah. scene. Mm. And I've all just moved to Texas <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> to compete. Jesus Christ. It's, cr it's crazy to think that like so much infrastructure that's already built could just be overturned by where they're like, yeah, I'm gonna move the server. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, yeah. It's kind of insane to think. No, it's wild. It's wild. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, I, I don't know how big kind of like esports plays a factor into business decisions I that they make. Yeah, like, I can't imagine it plays like the biggest factor, you know? For America, I think it yeah, definitely would be, I, we think about it for right. our logistics. It's kind of like um, the Apex teams in Australia are actually, I know I said before that, you know, Australian teams go international, they don't win. The Apex teams, and I actually got to meet uh, Jen Birch and uh, Jen Burton, I think his name is, um, in a tournament I did last week. So he's actually a part of the elusive Australians that go overseas and win. Right. Um, oh, they nice. they won a couple of the international apex tournaments uh last year mm. and so they will qualify through asia uh -huh. play against japanese teams yeah. and actually win on like 160 ping like <laughs> games oh, wow because the game's got good enough net code that like and i, I experienced it's really myself. not hard to play on bad ping yeah it's actually it's very really good for good. it huh. like i played the whole tournament on 200 ping and it felt fine so like Overwatch is like that. Overwatch, when I played it, I noticed that the ping didn't feel that bad. But like other games, like uh, Valorant, you're like, I'm, I die now. <laughs> yeah, now, Fortnite's horrible for a high ping as well. Yeah. Um, right, right. But yeah, no. So like they'll play on 160 and win, which I think is that's pretty insane. cool.